Real estate continues to be the most favorite segment of our show. One of our viewers, Cynthia Jones, has asked us for a question. Mm -hmm. She is a first time buyer. So we're gonna go to our expert, Jay, who will help you answer that question. So Jay, yes. one of our viewers, Cynthia, Certainly. who is a first time buyer, she's looking to buy her first home. Okay. And what she wants to know is that in looking for her new home, sure. What is it that you should be looking for in terms of location? Well, first of all, I mean, to understand, you know, does she want to live in the city? Does she want to be in the suburb? That will determine her price range and the kind of home she can buy. All right. What else should she be looking for? Well, the other one would be really how easy is it for her, uh, she, her family requirements, her husband, her spouse, children uh, and schools. Uh, does she need a school to be close by because mm -hmm. then she has to be a walking distance preferably or if not she must know that the bus will pick it up uh, will pick up her children excuse me and that can whole thing be managed so uh, city versus suburb schools are very important and the third thing is if she has young children or a daughter maybe maybe who is who is you know younger years going to college uh, you know, how far do they have to walk from the bus, if they're taking a bus to the home? Is it bright? All those things have to be taken into consideration. Very important. Location, location, location is important with all these things in mind. All right. Now, what yes. about proximity to work? We know some people who have to yes. travel like yes. three hours, two yes. hours, or yes. maybe one hour, and then add to it the traffic, the 401 jam. Yes. yes. You see, there are a lot of endeavors in the city, just so you know about how to, to decrease that commute. Mm -hmm. They don't have solutions yet, but they're looking into it. But what we have today is what we have to work with. Mm -hmm. So therefore, that comes to a quality of lifestyle. Mm -hmm. If she's working one job versus two, uh, if, she, if she's able to live or design her work life close to her home, she could eat A, an individual can either spend more time with family or they can do a second job to create more income if that's the goal that they have. So their life goals are linked to the location of their home. All right. So if, you, if she's uh, working downtown, okay. for example, sure. I'm not sure where she's working. Sure. She didn't tell me where she was working, okay. but okay. if she's working downtown, uh, what are some of the options available to her? Well. If Cynthia is working downtown, mm -hmm. then and she has then to choose whether she's going to be living further in the suburb and take a go train mm -hmm. versus being, say, uptown, mm -hmm. maybe like more towards Leslie, Donovan's, Lawrence, paying an extra amount of money, or even Scarborough, which is not that much further. Uh, and if she does that, that's the trade off. Where the trade off is on one side, she has to look at. Is she going to be closer to her work? Now, there are ways that she can do it and supplement the income. May I share with you how? Mm -hmm. You see, she could buy a home, say, in Leslieville mm -hmm. or Dawn Mills or even further, just to the, to the western tip of Scarborough and have, uh, say, a bungalow with a basement income. Okay. Because generally, budget is a constraint mm -hmm. and buying a property mm -hmm. and location. So she can go down that route or she can choose to go all the way to say Pickering and Ajax or if it's going to be Brampton. But by doing that, what she does is she will allow herself to say, okay, if I'm going to go the extra half an hour. Maybe I can study a course on the way. However, maybe there's family at home, elders where she needs the extra space. Or that's just the goal the family has for the backyard for the kids to play hockey. Mm -hmm. but the trade-off is going to be in two things. Mm -hmm. One is, okay, you're going to pay the, the go, a little bit, three, there's a, there's a, le a longer commute. The third would be understand, outside the city in the suburbs in the 9 to 5 area code, uh, though the homes may be more affordable, you have a higher yearly property tax. Right. So keep that, that in mind. That is something mind. people are not necessarily aware of. Yes. yes. Because it's going to add an extra 100 to $200 a month for an average family on an average home price of 400000 500 which is an average medium price today in buying that home. So if you're looking at a trade-off of another $150, ask your mortgage broker or your realtor, what is the equivalent value 
of paying 150 in a mortgage. All right. So I hope that answers your questions. Yes. And if you have any additional questions, where can she reach you, Jay? She can call my mobile, 647-273-1119. It's on the screen.